taking all of the disruptors and how they play with histamine. So oxalates, maybe you can tell us what are oxalates, where do we find them, and then how do they affect the histamine response? So oxalates are a oxalic acid. It's a defense mechanism found in the plant kingdom. So they protect themselves. And by its nature, we used to we used to create oxalobacter bacteria in our guts that would help us disassemble the oxalates so then we could eat the nutrient rich foods that carried those oxalates such as almonds and berries and black beans and spinach, so forth. However, the onset of glyphosate had some really bad things happen uh, in our gut as a result of it. It started depleting the oxalobacter bacteria that used to create the oxalate, oxalate eating bacteria. Why is oxalate such a big deal? Well, guess what? <laughs> the spike protein also increases oxalate burden by creating the, uh, interrupting the calcium oxalate channels, also in the clinical literature. And oxalate feeds on mold. Mold and, and histamine play together. So now we've got this oxalate mold histamine Mold will disrupt insulin. The histamine will disrupt insulin. So we're starting to see this web, right? And then mold is a lipid, which is a fat, which then again, and so is insulin called the fat storage hormone. And these oxalates like to wrap themselves in, in fats, therefore creating kidney stones and gallstones. But not only that, we're seeing, we're seeing the thyroid have much more nodules. We're seeing girls grow cysts the size of their heads in their ovaries. We're seeing lipomas, which, which are these large fatty deposits under the skin. I just saw someone today, lipomas all over her head to point where they bleed out. Um, she's got mast cell reactivation syndrome now, which she didn't used to have. 